Ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. Once again, I'm bringing you Ghost in the Shell because I've been playing this game a ton. Ever since I kind of covered it in my last video, this has been a game I've been playing daily, just mainly to do the daily objectives that you get, the missions that are available every day, hence they're called dailies. And also because it's insanely fun and I've been enjoying the crap out of this game. But lately, I have been being accused, I have been being, I have been being, is that even a proper way of wording that? I have been accused many times lately, their proper grammar, of hacking, of using aimbots. And in fact, it kind of happened shortly after this gameplay snippet that you're watching occurred. So basically, I went on a 1v5 kind of little initial spree where I was killing them repeatedly, which is what you're watching right now. And then shortly afterwards, when other people started joining in, there was a lot of and lots, main, mainly one guy, but they were kind of all accusing me of using an aimbot. And the guy was like, oh, this guy's hacking his aimbot and, you know, he's getting headshots all the time. And other people were like, is that what that is? Because, I mean, this is ridiculous how fast he's getting headshots and how much he's killing me. Now, of course, I've never, ever in my life cheated in an online multiplayer game. Like, never. I, I don't even, I can't, I'm trying to honestly recall a time where I've ever used a hack or some kind of exploit. I mean, exploits are, are understandable in some games, where it's just like, it's an exploit in the game. It's not exactly cheating, per se. You're not downloading or buying some kind of script to install to give you an advantage. It's kind of just in the game inherently. It's just a mistake in the game that you can exploit. Yes, I've done stuff like that, but not really in the sense where I would use it very maliciously. Because I consider myself to be an ethical gamer, you know? I like to be... I mean, what's the fun in it to me? You know, like, what's the fun in cheating? I understand some people are thinking, like, oh, yeah, I can just slaughter, but it's not really skill. I mean, to me, it's a lot more fun knowing that I can single-handedly take on everybody, like, just by, you know, raw brute force and skill and precision versus having to use cheats to, to pull it off. And, in fact, it's incredibly satisfying when people do accuse you of cheating, like, without a doubt. They, they're they just, they can't, there's, there's no possible way, no matter how much you try to convince them, that they portray you in a non-malicious way. They, they assume you're cheating, no matter what you... And I try pleading with this guy. I'm like, look, you know, I have a YouTube channel. I've already covered this game. You can go look at my YouTube channel right now. You can open up your Steam tab, your Steam overlay. And you can literally type on YouTube my name, and you can see footage of me playing the game, and you'll know that I am not cheating. And... They refuse. They're like, yeah, no, bullshit. You know, like, just the typical players that get super angry that you're better than them. And I don't mean to say that in, like, a very derogatory, demeaning way. It's just that I outskilled them, and it's not, that's, it's nobody's fault. I'm just good at the game, and I'm just inherently good at this game. It's when, I just click with this game really well. I don't know why. Um, I even went back, because I was doing so good in this game, I was like, all right, maybe this will transfer to CSGO. And I went into a CSGO game, and it's it's not the same. It's not the same league at all. Like, when you're playing CSGO, I mean, I'm decent at that game, but I am I seriously doubt I'm, like, a global elite player. You know, I'm there are players out there that are significantly better than me in CSGO, and, like, I don't argue. I don't, you know, if I'm getting my ass kicked by someone who's actually skilled, it's like, hats off to you, man. You're really good at this game. So, I mean, I just jive with this game. I'm just, it, I'm really good at it. It could be because the other players just aren't, like, there are no other players at the same skill level as me. I don't know. I mean, I have gone up against people who can shoot me, like, really quickly, very accurately. But, I mean, I routinely pull, like, over 20 kills per game. And when I'm playing Demolition, you know, I usually can carry the team single-handedly, which you'll see some footage later on in the game. So, I mean, it's really not a fact about who's cheating. It's more about, like, just the skill gap of the players. So I might not actually be that good. If you got a whole bunch of CSGO players that were like top, you know, top leaderboards there to come over and play this against me, I'd probably get spanked left and right. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's it really depends on who the community is in the game. And of course, people that just get their asses kicked and get flustered that the fact that they're getting headshotted consistently, they tend to accuse you of hacking which happens in many games. It's not just this one. It happens in every game. I've been accused of hacking so many times. Like, and that's not just, a, you know, I'm not trying to sound douchey. Like, yeah, that's how good I am. People think I'm hacking. But I mean, in this case, you can see the evidence for yourself. I'm just, I'm showing you the footage. This is raw gameplay. This is all like, I mean, we went back in time here. So basically the initial gameplay was the latest when I got my new skin and I kind of upgraded my M4. But then I wanted to show you just traditional gameplay from the past. So my earlier gameplay with a regular M4 that I eventually slapped a laser on.
but I'm still using the basic iron sights. All the equipment on it is basic except for the attachment. And the fact that I'm able to routinely pull scores and kills and KDRs this well with a starter weapon is a testament to just how balanced this game truly is when it comes to weaponry. And that's something I actually truly enjoy about this game. There's not, there's no one weapon that's better. In fact, I splurged, I wasted a ton of credits, like 300 and like 40,000 credits buying my, which is GP in the game. It's referred to as GP in the game. And I, I spent that on one of the higher end rifles, the rifles from the actual series. So, you know, it's Ghost in the Shell in the TV show, in the anime, and even the main guy, I believe, they have their own style of weapon. So they're called like Saburo. I believe is how you pronounce it, Saburo. So there's like the Saburo MG, Saburo C3, Saburo, like they're, you know, different classes. There's an SMG, there's an assault rifle, and there's a machine gun, and there's also a sniper. There's one for each variant of the Saburo series. So I bought the MG. I bought the rifle, which the rifle's actually good, the assault rifle. Then I bought the MG just because I was like, you know what, I'm interested in trying a machine gun. I want to see how they feel, because I, like, how long it was taking me to unlock the M249, because you unlock new weapons for each class. So you get a brand new weapon for a submachine gun, you unlock it, you'll get a, a weapon, you can unlock a shotgun, you can unlock a light machine gun, you can unlock a rifle, which is basically the SCAR. Uh, it looks like a SCAR H or SCAR L. And you unlock those weapons, and you can utilize them, and they're way cheaper. So they're like 40,000 credits, you know, 40,000 GP versus spending like at least, I think a minimum is 199,000 or 198,000 is the cheapest to buy them from the marketplace with GP. So, I mean, the ones you unlock are vastly cheaper. And I bought the Saburo MG, and I regretted it almost immediately. I was like, I mean, I was using it, and I was like, oh, this is cool, but I mean, 340,000 GP for this? Like, this is ridiculous, right? And then I unlocked the M249, which I'll save that gameplay for another day. And to me, it's significantly better, and it only cost me 40,000. So, I mean, if you're new to this game, you're just getting into it, save your fucking credits. I know I said in my last video you make credits fairly... Well, no, I didn't say it in the video. I actually wrote in a comment replying to someone how I made over 250,000 credits, give or take, within the first couple of hours of gameplay, that will quickly, quickly decline. Basically, the reason why you make so much initially is because you're leveling up fast, and when you're leveling up fast, every time you level up, you get a 20,000 credit kind of collectible credit card, basically. You get like a little boost of credits. So you collect it every time you level up, it's 20,000 credits. And then... Obviously, as you keep leveling up, it gets slower and slower. It takes longer to level up. And because of that, you start realizing the actual income of the matches matter more than those boosts you gain. And overall, it takes much, much longer. So now, I have, like, I believe over 13 hours in the game, maybe 10 to 11 hours of actual game time. Which is cool. If you go in your actual profile on the game, you can see the actual time you played the game. So sitting in the menu doesn't count. Like, Steam kind of just counts the game running. But if you want to actually see how much time you actually spent playing... In the game, it'll show you how much time you play. So, anyway, about 10, 11 hours. And within the remaining time, like, I've made maybe, like, 300, 400,000 credits compared to the 200,000 credits I made within the first two hours. After that, it was like I only topped out at maybe, again, 400, 300,000. Like, not a lot. It quickly just de-escalates. Like, you start just making shitter, shittier and shittier cash payouts as time goes on. The game modes heavily influence how much you make, and anyway, the whole point is just be careful with your credits. The whole point of the video, actually, that I'm trying to make is that I'm not hacking. <laughs> there you go, video proof. Anyone that stumbles across this video, you'll see that it is possible to be decent. Like, I don't even consider myself to be that amazing. There are definitely people out there that can kick my ass at games, and I've experienced it many times over, just because I happen to be very good in certain circumstances, and some situations I happen to play just right and because of that people accuse me of hacking and it's just it's hilarious so I don't know I mean I'm again I'm really enjoying this game I have like a shit ton more gameplay of some in, even better stuff than this I just wanted to show you the initial gameplay my older gameplay I have newer gameplay that's just fucking flat out crazy that I want to show off at some point while I talk about the game in more in depth but for now I'm out I'm gonna leave you guys with this hackery right here and I'll see you guys on the next one
Take your time and finish this.